In the days leading up to the 2018 World Cup, a phishing email scam was sent to soccer fans around the world. These spam emails tried to entice fans with... Free tickets to the World Cup? Yep. People who opened the emails and clicked on the links had their personal information stolen. This one scam impacted thousands of people. Hey, what's going on? Looks like you've been the victim of a cybercrime. A cyber what? You don't know what a cybercrime is? No. What do I look like, some kind of cyber nerd or something? Looks like it's time for another episode of... Cyber crimes are criminal activities carried out through electronic devices or the internet. When using any of these devices, you are at risk of a cybercrime being committed against you and the people you communicate with. In 2022, there were more than 800,000 cybercrime victims, with individuals and organizations losing a total of $10.3 billion. This is on top of the billions spent trying to prevent and deal with the attacks. In today's digital economy, your personal information could be even more valuable than money. Your preferences and personal details are extremely useful to businesses in refining and shaping their products and services. However, some people can use that information in an illegitimate or harmful way by pretending to be you and buying things with your money. This is also called identity theft. People who commit identity theft are usually called hackers because they enter your device without you knowing. Hacking is illegal, but often undetectable, meaning it's hard to know when it's happening until it's too late. One of the most common cybercrimes is when a hacker uses a phishing email campaign. Phishing? I like phishing. Not that kind of phishing. Phishing with a PH. Oh. Phishing emails often ask the receiver to respond with confidential information. Others contain a link that infects your computer with a virus. Computer virus? Will I get sick? Not that kind of virus. He's right. A computer virus is a kind of malware, where a malicious code or program is written to alter the way a computer operates and is designed to spread from one computer to another. Oh, no. Other kinds of malware include spyware, ransomware, worms, and trojans. When installed on a digital device, cyber criminals can keep track of your activity, lock you out and demand a ransom, use the infected device to carry out criminal acts or infect other computers, cause damage to specific data, and steal and exploit your personal information. Once a cyber criminal has your personal data, they can access your financial accounts, set up online accounts in your name and make purchases, or even extort you with any publicly damaging photos or information. It's a major hassle in time and money to recover and restore your information. And even if you aren't the victim directly, that doesn't mean cybercrime won't impact your wallet. Businesses lose millions of dollars each year to cybercrimes, which means their costs of doing business will increase. And these costs often get passed down to you, the customer, in the form of higher prices or fewer choices. Whoa, the Prince of Leo San is being held for ransom by his power-hungry sister, Layla. And he'll give me half of his oil fortune if I send $10,000 through a wire transfer. That sounds like another common form of identity theft called impersonation which is when a cyber criminal pretends to be someone they aren't to gain access to your personal information. They often pretend to be someone that can be trusted or say they are in a tough situation in order to manipulate their victim to give out private information such as credit card numbers or bank passwords. Or sometimes they just ask you to send them money with a promise to send you back an even bigger repayment. Spoiler alert, they won't. That money is gone for good. Listen to me. There's no such thing as Leo Stan. What are you telling me? Think about it. Oh no. Once again, he's right. Here are a few additional steps that will help you avoid becoming a victim. Step one, stay engaged. Monitor all of your credit card and bank accounts and know how to access your credit report. Use strong passwords and change them from time to time. Step two, stay cautious. Never give out your personal information unless you are absolutely sure who you are communicating with. If you see something fishy in your financial statements, report it to your bank or lender immediately. Step three, stay suspicious. Cyber criminals often create fake websites and emails that closely mimic reputable brands by using slight misspellings, extra characters, or substituting numbers for letters. Think twice before engaging and never open links or email attachments with an unusual URL or a suspicious email address. Nope. Every day, millions of attempts are made to steal information, 
Whether you're using a phone, a computer, or a gaming device connected to the internet, you're always at risk of identity theft. Protect yourself, your money, and your data by being vigilant, practicing good security habits, and using just a little bit of common sense. Remember the old adage, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Dude, free trip to Moscow. Oh, you can sign me up. Subscribe and watch more at PragerU.com.